I paid our debts with that money. I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In the meeting up with gang members uh, video, I said I'd do a video involving the end credits. And the end credits are actually, if you let them run and you watch them, it, it is interspersed with little video clips of things going on. And I started watching them. Some of it was just scenery. Some of it was people doing something. But I also noticed that they were showing almost a run-up to what would be Red Dead Redemption. And Red Dead Redemption 2 is the prequel. So there were other things in there, other characters that appeared in Red Dead Redemption 2. And, well, they were shown how their life had progressed and changed, just brief moments of it. And so I'm going to put those clips together and talk over them, unfortunately, because there's proprietary music that plays, and, you know, it, YouTube wouldn't let me monetize things if I just let these end credits play with the music. There are a few pastoral, kind of generic scenes before this, but this one is the wedding of John and Abigail. They finally get married. And then the next following scene are a few pastorals, but this is everyone dancing. And you notice Sadie's holding her side. She still hurts from the knife wound, but everyone's kind of having a good time, which is fun. I mean, really nice. The next scene, Charles is leaving the ranch. And... It's kind of sad. I mean, he's one of the better characters in Red Dead Redemption 2. And obviously, his leaving, he's going to head up north and uh, Canada and potentially find himself a woman. So this is really why I love Red Dead Redemption 2. They took this time and depth to add to it. Even a somewhat pivotal character like Edith Downs and her son Archie are shown basically boarding a boat in St. Denis and moving on in life. She, I guess, somehow they start building golf courses. And of course now Sadie leaving the ranch, saying goodbye to Uncle Jack, John, and Abigail. And she's obviously healed from her wound. But this is where people are hoping maybe Red Dead Redemption 3 would follow Sadie Adler, and that would be really cool. And of course, this scene. This shows Mary Linton basically mourning Arthur Morgan's passing. And it's actually her note that starts the whole process. And yeah, once you read the note, there's no going back. You're playing the game through, and Arthur's going to get tuberculosis and pass. But I just love this detail here. And this scene showing Rain's fall, watching an eagle fly, because his son was called Eagle Flies. I mean, this is just really awesome. I mean, the way they do this in the He's obviously up further north, and it's cold, because they did flee. The Wapati Indians did flee from their reservation to go further north. And yeah, this is just, like I said, details like this make Red Dead Redemption 2 so much, in, so enjoyable. And what really was interesting is interspersed among the pastoral scenes and the scenes of people moving on in life and happy is this, the Pinkertons investigating what is happening, and my guess is, and I'll show you the other scenes, they're leading up to Red Dead Redemption.
And now we're in Valentine, and the Pinkerton are investigating. I guess they're trying to track down either Dutch or potentially John. Again, they're questioning people, and this is probably, like I said, a kind of a lead-up to Red Dead Redemption. And of course, some more Pinkerton investigation. They're asking questions of people, and it looks like they're looking for directions or something. But yeah, these guys are investigating, and yeah, it's kind of interesting. And now you have John teaching Jack how to brush a horse. And he's, you know, just explaining to Jack how to maintain and brush and take care of animals and just some basic father-son stuff. But this is where it gets interesting. The same Pinkerton guards who were investigating, now they are looking at Beecher's Hope. And this is a run-up to Red Dead Redemption, for sure. If you like this video and you found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll stay informed. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some specials and some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. You want to see those videos, so subscribing is the best way to do it. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.